Hello, everybody. I am going to introduce to you and demonstrate the National Geographic Power Rocket, which I have right here. This is a toy rocket that can fly up to 200 feet or 61 meters in the air and land safely. This rocket is very similar to the Airhog Sonic rocket that I demonstrated several years ago, but what's different about this toy is that the fins of the rocket open up and act as a propeller blade to slow its descent once the motor cuts off at its maximum height. And you can also customize the rocket with one of three different sets of decals. I put the red ones on, but only use one set because you don't want the decals to interfere with, to add weight to the rocket and interfere with its performance. Now, I highly recommend using this rocket in a, an open field where there are no buildings, trees, power lines, or other obstacles that may interfere with the rocket's path or that may hurt people or that might endanger the safety of you and others. This rocket allows you to launch it 20 times on a single, up to 20 times on a single charge. Now there are three modes which are selected by pushing the power button a certain number of times. And note that if you use the rocket on higher flight times, you may have to, it may fly fewer times between battery charges. You can charge the rocket by using this USB cable, which you can plug into the rocket and then into any electronic device that takes your, these kinds of cables. Here's an instruction manual, but I already know how to work it. So without further ado, I am going to demonstrate the three flight modes. To turn on the rocket, simply hold down the power button until the green LED comes on. Note that if the green LED is flashing, which it isn't, the battery is low and needs to be charged. I'm going to push the power button quickly one time for the lowest flight, the shortest flight, and then the rocket will spin and eventually lift off the launch pad. And then, as you can see, it will land smoothly on the ground. Now you see that the fins on the rocket separated and spun like a helicopter rotor to slow the rocket's descent. And then you can easily slide them back in place so you can launch the rocket again. Might be a little bit tricky. It's a little tricky for me to do this one handed, but now the rocket is back on the launch pad. I am going to hit the power button twice for the second operating mode. Now it seems like on the second operating mode, didn't seem to have any trouble that time. The rocket would go off course and nosedive back to earth. It landed. And now I pick it up again. All right. I am going to place the rocket on the launch pad and do the third and final mode. The biggest one. Hit the power button three times. And get ready. Look how high that went.
Hey, it also landed upright. What are the odds of that? Let's get our little rocket here. And that's that. Thank you very much for watching.